Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And you out there without care. I was out of tone But it wasn't because I didn't know to know I just know too much Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Possibly Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. It's a beautiful Monday morning. And I must tell you that we have lots to talk about. And, and I think, you know, these are things that are very important to discuss, especially as it pertains, as it relates to, you know, national issues that Zambian citizens really should take a keen interest in. And there's nothing wrong with that. You, there really isn't. Guys, uh, I'm over here at Simoson Building in my little podcast office. And right before I get into it, let me, many of you ask me the title of that song. And I always remember to try to look for it only after I go live. What I really should do is to find out exactly that, that the rendition of that song of course as you know CeeLo Green uh, is the originator of that song CeeLo Green in Zambia we don't say CeeLo we say Jelo like Jelo Mwana did you know that the word Jelo means ghost or apparition in Tonga Jelo but in America they don't say Jelo they say CeeLo CeeLo Green is the one that sang and wrote that song originally. The version, the rendition that I play here on this podcast, I forget who does it, and I, I'm going to have to suss it out. I'll, I'll, I'll find out for you. The next time I go live, how about this? I will throw up 
the name of the artist the next time I go live. I give you my word that I'll do that the next time. A few shout outs to you, precious people. You that take the time out of your very busy schedule to spend a few moments with me here on SML TV. I'm going to need about 10 to 13 minutes of your time. We might go into 15 minutes but I seriously doubt it. I try as best as I can to keep these broadcasts to a minimum. I, I, it, it amazes me how some of you sit and listen to people talk for two hours. Two hours. For two hours. For two hours. 15, 20 minutes maximum. So 15 minutes max and and let's get let's get into it. Loud and clear, balance. This is one of our regulars. Balance it's always good to see you. Thank you so much. Uh who is that? Is that say my name. Say my name, say my name. Say my name. Who's that? Music. Music. All righty, one more and then we can start talking you are the only man in zambia who silence challenge seer one i tell you what more people should do that speaking of that joker uh andrew ejimado before we get into my little dissertation this morning i want to thank the zambian people for not giving andrew ejimado aka seer nothing the juice that he used to have uh, a few years ago. And, and I used to warn Zambians, don't allow these mystics, these spiritualists, to lead the narrative in your country. Andrew Ejimadu is a product of the Nigerian community. Nigeria has its own problems. Nigeria has its own challenges. Nigeria has its own demons and dragons to deal with. How then does Andrew, a.k.a. Seer Nothing, decide to make his life goal to deal with the Zambian geopolitical situation here on our territory? The Joker. And I blame you. I blame you, Zambians, for giving him the juice. I, get, I blame you for giving him the platform. But, but today, I want to, to, to thank you that he doesn't have the juice that he used to have. Because he was, he was on video the other day. Nobody heard a squeak about it. I mean, there he was. He was railing against Miles, talking about how Miles is ungrateful. And yet, Andrew himself feels that he can have the liberty to disdain, to discredit, to, to, to lie about anybody he chooses, Andrew Ejimadu, a.k.a. Sir One, can decide to support you today and the very next day decide to insult you. He gets a pass. But when Miles Sampa raises his voice and says, this is an injustice, the manner in which that the NPF are going about the selective process of the Secretary General is highly irregular. When Mao Sampa says that, Andrew Ejimadu wakes up and says, Oh, Mao Sampa is ungrateful. Mao Sampa is this. We chinangwa. We iwe iwe Andrew iwe. Uri chinangwa. Edio kabidi. Uri chipuba. Now, you won't understand that because you're not Zambian. You're not. You see, do you see how this goes? In the same way, if you were to say something in that, in that Nigerian language, what is it? Ibu, Obo, Ibu, Obo. If you were to say something in Ibu or Obo, I wouldn't understand you. You know why? Because I'm not a Zambian mate. I mean, I'm not a Nigerian. In the same vein, by the same token, Iwe Andrew Ejimadu Urichipuba Elio Kabidiruchi Wede Wede. But you won't understand that because you're not Zambian, are you? You know what that means? It means you don't have the right to stick your nose in our affairs. Do you do you understand that? That's why I can say that for you to understand what I've said. Iwe kolwe iwe. 
for you to to ascertain the words that are coming out of my mouth wait you wait 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 for you to grasp the concept of what is coming out of the 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 the, the recesses of my 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 heart which you boom boy you'd have to be a zambian but you're not that's why you it's passed you by you know why because you're not a zambian so stick your nose into your business as a nigerian and leave zambian geopolitics to us we are well able to take care of it there are so many opposition leaders in this country who can do who can provide checks and balances we don't need some false prophet from nigeria stepping into our territory trying to dictate to us how we should run our affairs no sir step aside step aside andrew there's a new sheriff in town and guess what you're not him all right thought i'd share that with you and get that off my chest <laughs> which boom boy andrew okay um all right here we, here it is let's uh let's get into this guys a few days ago we heard we heard that former president lungo uh, was trying to fly out of the country. And we didn't know about this until he was flagged. Do you know what it means to flag? Somebody said, whoa, 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 whoa. Wh wh where are you going? Well, according to Makebi Zulu, who is uh, former President Lungu's lawyer, and let's keep in mind, anytime Makebi Zulu shows up, it, that's it, that you hear the sound of a cha-ching do you know what that means cha-ching cha-ching means cha-ching is the sound of a cash register okay in in america when you hear someone say cha-ching it means impia shafuma zangena in zambia we say zangena in america they say cha-ching so when makebe zulu anytime you hear or see or sniff anytime you get a whiff of Makebi Zulu, we should be fiati cheching. In Pia Shacha Shani, Shangra. Makebi Zulu, could you know in my client? My client was on his way to South Korea. President Lungu was invited to attend a peace summit in South Korea, says Makebi Zulu now here's the interesting thing about this guys and i'm going to show you something that is really really important guys anytime global affairs are mentioned you can google that you can use chat gpt you can use ai you can use any type of search engine and you'll get the answers just because somebody says to you no in india kusami to south korea don't take their word for it not in this dispensation you know, I mean, because the world is full of, the world is, that's a bunch of liars. You know, so, so, so whenever you hear a, a guy in a suit like Makebi Zulu say things like, no, my client is going to South Korea. Now, remember, there's a difference between South Korea and North Korea. South Korea is where they make Samsung. North Korea is where they have that despot in the name of Kim Jong-un who presides over a brainwashed people over generations over generations to the same people different countries you know there is a a a a, a militarized zone that separates the two countries okay so so let's understand the topography of south and north korea south korea down there is where they make samsung these phones okay north korea is where kim jong-un comes from okay so makebi zulu says no you know my client was going to south korea for a peace summit so guess what i did i asked chat gpt chat gpt when is the next peace summit going to be held in south korea 
in 2023. Guess what Chat GPT told me? The peace summit in South Korea was held on the 3rd of May, 2023. We are in September. So if the, the, the South Korean summit, peace summit, now this should not be confused with other events uh, in the calendar of, uh, of, of the month of September. There are many different events in, in uh, South Korea that, that go on. There are peace walks. There, there, there are so many different events. But as far as the peace summit, which is very distinct, very unique, that was last held on May the 3rd, 2023. So my question then is, if indeed the last peace summit was held May of 2023, and if you look at the calendar, September, there is no peace summit post May 2023. There is in, in the month of September. There is no peace summit. There are other events, but not the peace summit. So my question then is, was Makebi Zulu lying? Was he just creating something out of nothing? Was he just did he did he sort of say to himself after all these zambians now i'm going to run that peace summit which zambian is going to go and investigate to find out whether china china could be peace summit go south korea the zambians we just take people's words for you will just hear just listen just because somebody says something it doesn't mean it's true there's a word for you right there. Okay, I need that to sizzle in your spirit. I need that to marinate in your heart. I need it to, 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 to sort of take root in your cerebellum. Just because somebody says something, it doesn't mean it's true. So as far as I know, okay, now you can correct me if I'm wrong, if you're, you're at liberty to do that. But as far as I'm concerned. I've done my due diligence. You can do yours. You come up with your own version of the truth. Okay? But as far as I'm concerned, the last peace summit was on May the 3rd, 2023. So, Makebi Zulu, what the hell are you talking about? Peace summit. And then there was this other talk. They were saying, no, President Lungu is going for medicals. All right, so which is it? Is he going for medicals? Is he, is he going for a peace summit? If you're going to be a, a former head of state who is a person of interest and you are actively involved in politics, you are a person of interest. So don't moan, whinge, and complain when the authorities take a closer look at you. If you don't follow procedure, guess what? They're going to flag you. And then you are going to translate that and say, no, this is political persecution. It's not political persecution. It's called due diligence. It's called doing the right thing. If you're going to mislead the public, don't mislead the public as on, on, on issues to do with global events because we're going to cross-check them. We're going to cross-check them. We're going to cross-check everything you say. If you say that former President Lungu is going to go visit a niece in America, I have no way of verifying that. But when you stand up in front of a microphone, and you say, no, former President Lungu is going to a peace summit in South Korea. And here it is. It's in September. But the last peace summit was held on May the 3rd, 2023. What, you don't think that that's going to raise eyebrows? Do you not think that that's going to raise questions? All right. I've said enough. I'm just saying, you know, it raises questions. That's all I'm saying. PF seems to be a security risk now. No, Mr. Moira, the peace summit is taking place in September, and I'm part of the summit, sir. Where? Show me, because I've, I've searched this. I can't find it. 
I, I would be very happy to see you prove to me that there is a peace summit this September because I've checked the calendar. The last peace summit was on the May was May, May the 3rd, 2023. Show me, show me here because I have I've, I, I've taken quite a bit of time to research this. I will be happy if you sort of prove me wrong. But as things stand right now, as far as I can tell, May the 3rd was the last peace summit in South Korea. Don't, again, don't confuse this event with other events on the South Korean calendar in September. There are many, many other events. But as far as the peace summit, last, last I saw is May the 3rd. But again, I would love for you to prove me wrong. I would love for you to prove me wrong. But I'm not seeing it. And you know what they say, if it's not gelling, then it's not jello. It raises questions. So which is it? Was he going to have a medical or was he going for a peace summit, which doesn't exist in September? Explain that to me. All righty. And guys, if, if you've got anything, show it, please post it on here. I'll, I'll, I'll post it. And then I'll take your word for it. But my point is, when these lawyers, when these politicians tell you something, don't take their words for it. Don't take their word for it, rather. I'll say it right in a moment. Do not take their word for it. Fact check. Cross check. Challenge them. You know, because they, they could just be lying. Because, you know, the world's full of liars. Okay? Isn't that, isn't that the truth? All right. Even if he was attending a peace summit, he's, he's meaning H E apostrophe S. He's supposed to notify cabinet office. If that, if those are the rules, those are the rules. He should follow those rules. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.